What's going on boys and girls? Well, it is Labor Day, I guess. It's Monday, Labor Day weekend for all you working stiffs. So I'm doing a little work today, doing a little video. First thing right out of the gate, tell me something. Why in the hell won't my bank take my card at its ATM, but the bank up the road here, Consumer Credit Union, which is not where I bank, will take my damn card. Yeah, I know, I know, BBD. Go to your bank and get your card changed, blah, blah, blah. I've had to do that three times in the last two years. I'm sick of doing that because then everything that comes automatically out of my bank, I have to go and redo. Now, some of that might be a good thing. Maybe I need to do that. Hell, I don't know. I know who doesn't need to go to a new t new ATM, and that's Nico Iamaliava and the rest of the Josh Heupel offense. Kicking ass and taking names already this, this year. So, we got NC State coming up this Saturday. I am not in the least worried about them. They're a bunch of bitches. They've always been a bunch of bitches. They'll continue to be a bunch of bitches this Saturday in Charlotte at night when we proceed to go over there and dismantle and destroy those bunch of bitches. It's just that simple, kids. It's that simple. NC State has always been a bunch of bitches. Now they opened the season with their little, whatever it was, ranking 19th, 24th, I don't know, somewhere in the bottom half of the top 25 and what do they do they come out and they let western kentucky push them around for the better part of three excuse me western carolina the catamounts push them around for the better part of three quarters before they finally take over the game does tennessee do that against their fcs opponent hell no and i think we played a better fcs opponent they're ranked eighth in their poll to start the year. Where's Western Carolina ranked? I don't know, but probably nowhere. I don't know. It looks like this Tennessee team is prepared and ready to destroy anybody that gets in their path this year. And I'm not including Georgia in that because in the second half, they totally took care of business against Clemson. Supposedly a power four team from the ACC. They didn't look like it in the second half of that game. Because Georgia just manned up and said, all right, time to screw you guys in the booty hole. And that's what they did. They screwed Clemson in the booty hole and won by 31 points. So, And most Georgia fans... Tried to tell us that in the preseason, that this game would be a blowout. Some of us didn't want to listen. I was kind of one of those people that thought Clemson might give them a game. And they did. They gave them a game for a half. But then it was over. So we'll see what you're made of this weekend, Tennessee. I feel pretty confident in what you're made of. And I feel pretty damn confident going into this game. Uh, I'll save my official prediction for later in the week, maybe Thursday night. But right now, if I had to throw one out there just to be throwing one out there, I'd say Tennessee wins 45 to 17. Think you can handle that wolf pack? Woof pack? Woof, 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 bitch. Bunch of no football playing bitches. Never have been. I don't care about your little coach, Dave Doran, and, and all he's done for NC State and blah, 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 blah. We beat your ass the last time we played you, and we're going to beat your ass this time. So just get ready, NC State, for an ass whooping. Because it's coming. And it's coming fast and it's coming furious. And there ain't shit you're going to do to stop it. Period. Go balls. Screw y'alls. Wolf pack. Wolf pack. 
and hug your mom and daddy.